Hello, my lords. It is Crash Master, and welcome back to another. Um, <coughs> sorry, uh, not another. Well, kind of. Basically, I'm doing a trailer review now, my lords. If you have been around for the channel for quite a while and seen some of my old ones, I did like um a couple of trailer reviews on the Sonic Forces game, Sonic Mania, and the theory of the connection between the two. I did. I also did a cast three th um theory on what was going on in the trailer review of that. But my lords, we <coughs> also, by the way. <coughs> Quick little thing, sorry, I'm so sorry I've not been uploading for the past few weeks. Really, I'm not quitting YouTube, um, I've not stopped it or anything like that. It's just that lately, um, September's been kind of a busy month for me, honestly. Um, right now, things have been getting a little complicated. I'm trying to rework some of the series with some new people, trying to see what I can do. So take has also been a little busy, sorry about that. He will be coming back, I will be coming back, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully this Tuesday... <coughs> <coughs> also, as you can hear, I have a bit of a cough. It's been here for like two weeks. It's not been going away. I've been taking cough drops. Nothing's been too working. I'm hope I'm gonna try to take some more medicine. Don't know really why. I had some allergies. I'm guessing maybe. Um, that's my guess. But anyways, my I'm hopefully I really wanted to do this video because Minecon um live now. It's it's been Minecon all the way to Minecon Earth. Now it's officially titled up there Minecon Live, and we are um. <coughs> As you can see, I'm really sorry if I cough during most of this. I'm so sorry, but I really wanted to try to make this video for you all. Right now, mates, literally this year, and that's the day if you're not sure of right now, if you've been living under a rock for some reason. Basically, it's coming in two days as I'm recording this. I'm recording this um 8 o'clock at night on a Thursday. So on the 26th, and the Saturday is the 28th, in two days. So hopefully any of you, or maybe you can watch this just before the live stream um, kicks off. So my, it's basically... We are going to do a couple of trailer reviews, really, really small ones, so this video might not be too long, I'm not really sure, I'm uploading this either late Thursday, um, maybe early-ish Friday, I'm not really sure, depends what time zone you live in, I'm in the, um, <coughs> I'm in the, the, um, what is it, I don't know, oh, uh, sorry about that, my phone went off, um, for some reason, don't know why, <coughs> As you can see, the cough is not really helping me too much. But right now, mates, this is going to be like a quick little guide if you're going to be able to watch it in time to vote. Because, mates, just like um, either 2018 or 2017 Minecon, um, one of the two, I can't really remember, it was um, the vote of four mobs. The um, mob A, B, C, D. It was the... Um, what are they called again? Um, sorry, Mob. It was the either uh, Mob A. Let me just um get my phone. That's why I have my phone out on the timer to remind me because there have been um quite a few things from um the past Minecon um Earth slash Live, whatever you really want to call it at this point. So many names about what could um possibly happen. Now let me just see right here. All right, so it was Mob A, the monster of the ocean depths. Mob B, the Phantom that we all that we all know and love. I'd say I really am a big fan of the mob. Pretty good. Mob C, the Great Hunger, and Mob D, the Hovering Inferno. Now, I actually chose the Hovering Inferno because the thing is, it seemed like a new Nether mob, and I was pretty excited. <coughs> sorry about it. So, I was really, really intrigued to see maybe a new update to the nether, because it hasn't been too updated. I mean, the it has been, it's the second, um, dimension, um, dimension, oh my god, I freaking hate that term sometimes, um, that use it. It's a, yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. Anyway, it's a, it's a new, uh, world to explore in the Minecraft, just like the end, and we did get the end update in 1.9 slash combat update with the Elytra, the end cities and whatnot, but I feel like the nether... Could be updated one more time and maybe the end but unfortunately with the new minecraft that's not going to happen to any of the classic ones as i did that whole entire video with the stampy series i have a playlist it's the minecraft better together series on my channel uh if you're new ish maybe i don't know who's new to minecraft at this point <laughs> um but that's about it so we did and mob b was actually my um second guess um my second one i was actually gonna vote for the phantom so i'm pretty happy about it unfortunately those will never be coming back to minecraft maybe someday maybe they can have an update because i actually am planning to do a small little video maybe or a mini series about features of minecraft what they could be adding in future updates me giving some advice and what could happen you guys will just have to find out hopefully this cough our minds will get better. I'm so sorry. I don't even know if I'm going to be uploading this week. Um, on Tuesday, I have no idea. 
I'll see what I can do, mods. I'm really sorry. It's just a cough. I don't want the 50% of the video to be, like, me coughing or not. Like, um, <coughs> like, um, this one right now. But this one be short, so hopefully you all don't mind. But, mods, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, we're on the official Minecraft YouTube channel right now. I was gonna go through each one separately. I'm um, right there, so you can see three days ago, two days ago, one day, um, one day ago. This was just uploaded. Wow, 1.1 million views. Oh, my God. Minecraft just keeps getting more popular, doesn't it? All right, nine hours ago. So this is basically a small version. Um, it's, it's a little, sh it's it's practically all of these ones combined. So here we go, Mike. Biome vote. We're gonna go through the Badlands, Swamp, and Mountain. So you know, what? I think it'd be more fun to go through every single video separately. So here we go, Mike. The Badlands. The biome vote is coming up at Minecon Live on September twenty eighth. Let's learn more about the biomes. Whoa, that tumbleweed almost hit me. Well, they don't call it the Badlands because of their good manners. Ooh, this new cactus is fancy. Ouch! What's that spooky vulture doing? Vultures are drawn to loot left behind by unlucky explorers. Not the loot! Don't forget to watch Minecon Live and vote on September 28th. Now, Mice, as you can see there, it, it most of you who probably already watch these are like, well, there's not really much information to get off of. But I actually compiled a small little list of three of each of the biomes and more features what could possibly happen. Now, let's get into it right now. We're just going to replay the it real quick. The biome vote is coming up at Minecon Live on September 28th. Let's learn more about the biome. Whoa, that tumbleweed almost hit me. Well, they don't call it the Badlands because of their good manners. Ooh, this new cactus is fancy. Ouch! What's that spooky vulture doing? Vultures are drawn to loot left behind by unlucky explorers. Not the loot! Alright. <coughs> And that's pretty much all we've got so far. Now, Mites, basically, it's been known that the Badlands, or it's sometimes known as the Mesa Biome, is, um, it's the, it's the Biome. It's not too common, usually. I actually recently played with Sotaker on his world a while ago. Um, and we actually, um, actually, he showed me, um, a biome, which was the Mesa Biome. It's basically this, um, huge biome full of red sand, um, sand, um, can't, wait, is it sand? No, um... You might see a lot of red sand, actually, but it's like hills and mountains. Um, it has dead shrubs and bushes and cactuses, actually. I recently just found out, which is crazy. I'm still learning about Minecraft still to this day, somehow. And um, there's not too much, honestly, in it. I mean, they did have a couple updates, and I actually saw from one of Dan TDM's new hardcore series, when he went to the Badlands, that there's actually kind of mine shafts, and you can find lots of iron and gold ore. I found at least a stack of each of them, and it was amazing. <coughs> sorry. I'm really trying to hold this in, Mike. I really, really am. I'm sorry. But that's three features right there, Mike. Three features on the list. Now, number one. Tumbleweed. Now, tumbleweeds, as we know, are usually in the regular deserts, what they assume in real life or cartoons usually, are just bundles of sticks held together to, um, in a in a, in a ball that's shaped through, and thrown around in the wind usually. But, I have to say, I am a little bit confused about this feature because, as we all know, Minecraft is a square and cube game. <laughs> what the heck? Um... <coughs> Sorry, every time I laugh, sometimes I cough too. It's like, what the heck, Mars? How are they really gonna do it? I'm curious if maybe it's gonna be like some sort of animation. Is it just gonna stay still and maybe move around like, um, like, um, maybe like how they, you can load a new chunk, maybe? It'll move like that and the texture will like turn around circular ish. Sort of, I mean, there's a couple ideas, but the thing is, is it gonna be like a, maybe a minecart or a boat animation, sort of? Will it be like a stop motion things? Um, it's just, uh, I'm just a little speculative on that one, honestly. Plus, what would you get? I mean, nowadays with the dead bushes, you usually get six, which I think is a really great update to even if the littlest point, near pointless things like dead shrubs or shrubs, what are you going to do with it? You could get a stick if, you, if you're in danger or a new player or trying to do a new challenge. There's uh, possibilities. So maybe you could get like a bundle of sticks from it if you break it, or maybe you can use it as a decoration for like uh, old west build. Maybe something like that. So I'm kind of curious on what that's going to be like. Honestly, if it's rolling around. Next, the new cactus. Now, Marks, we all know cactuses in Minecraft. They're green, they're sharp, pointy, and they can make green, um, dark green dye. But that's about it. 
and not to mention mods, that's the thing is with cactuses, we can actually get water from them in real life. Certain types, how do you think those are one of the only plants in deserts that can actually naturally stay alive from certain water underground water resources and whatnot? I'm not too sure about it. I'm not too much in the biological side of science. I'm more or less in astronomy, honestly. A little fun fact about me <laughs> um, about that. I'm a, I like astronomy and physics. I'm not too much in the biological side. I don't mind it, but it's not my expertise. But so correct me about that whole water thing if I'm wrong. But as you can see, Mike, that might be maybe a new fruit or maybe some sort of flower that we can actually get from the cactus. And we can see it's actually a little more, it's not the straight up ones that we're used to. No, it is not. It's a, it's like all over the place, like a tree, like the savanna trees, maybe in a way. Um, or maybe like the dead bush, how it's like scraggling all over the place in different directions, like a sapling or a tree in the savanna, not just straight up. So that could be pretty interesting. Maybe we can even get bottles of water, maybe some sort of water extractor. Maybe something like, um, something like that. I mean, we do have certain things like, um, the hopper. We also do have, um, redstone mechanics. We even got that, um, new one in the last latest update. Um, what was it called again? The composter. So maybe they could do something like that. And finally, um, but besides that, I actually kind of like the cactus. Now, and finally, uh, we have the vulture. Now, the thing is, Mites, and if you notice in my series, I actually have a, um, most of my Minecraft videos, the majority of my main Xbox One series. Now, Mine Crash, which I, I recommend you like if you like this video and go watch it because trust me, it's going to get pretty serious in the story element there. But the thing is, when I die, I don't lose my loot. That's just not the way I set up um, that series on purpose. <clears throat> but the thing is, what would be the point of Vulture then? Maybe it can have some sort of like attack mode maybe it can maybe it's gonna be like a wolf or maybe like the phantom in a sense like you 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 um the loot's gonna be there for a while like she said like um uh um i'm sorry i don't know the her name i'm sorry i don't know a lot of people's names on the minecraft team besides notch and jeb slash jens sorry uh but um what our little um announcer sprite over here said that um no no to Lou. <laughs> that was so adorable as well like the little animation i really like this especially too gg to minecraft hopefully they can do the, like stuff like this in the future at one point like minecraft story mode really good game but um back to what i said the vulture maybe it's gonna be is it gonna be like a fully aggressive mob like if you go back for the loot i feel like it'd be really cool if we could get like three or four of them like we see some in the background maybe swarming like in the cartoons when someone's passed out or it's like um some kind of um dead animal swarming them i don't know if that's how it's gonna be i feel like that'd be a really cool feature but um nonetheless that is pretty much it. Um, I'm just wondering if it's going to be hostile if you try to get the loot back. Maybe is it going to be like, um, like, um, what is it? Hostile. Um, it's like, I forgot the word for it right now, but it's like a wolf. Um, in a sense, like it could turn, it could be um neutral, but then it could turn hostile. Something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, neutral mobs, neutral mobs. You know, Mike. You know what I'm talking about, probably. Um, as I'm as I'm blabbering about. But um, so far, that's about it. So it's just gonna be my buying vote. No. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I really am. I really. I talk so much good about it. I know. But the thing is, Mike, is that. Um, well, you, you're gonna see soon. I might change my mind in the last few days. This is my, this, the thing is, this is my third place, bro, but I will give you a reason why. But that's about it for this Don't one. forget to watch Minecon Live and vote on September 28th. There you go. Just love the little animations they do. Seriously, mice. And the text, the little Badlands Swamp Mountains, is amazing. Now, mice, there we go. Badlands number two, Swamp. The biome boat is coming up at Minecon Live on September 28th. Let's learn more about the biomes. Is that a, a boat? Yes, this boat has a chest built in for all the cool things you find at sea. And look, it's our new friend, the frog. Ew! Actually, we're not that close. Here's a mangrove, a tree that thrives in the swamp. We should get out of here. That frog is looking at me funny. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of fun, watch Minecon live and vote on September 28th. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> well, Mites, there you go. There's the swamp. Now, let's analyze it, shall we? I think we shall. The biome boat is coming up at Minecon live on September 28th. Let's learn more about the biome. 
Is that a, a boat? Yes, this boat has a chest built in for all the cool things you find at sea. And look, it's our new friend, the frog. Ew! Actually, we're not that close. Here's a mangrove, a tree that thrives in the swamp. Now, mites, uh, wait. We should... <laughs> all right, so that pretty much is all the information that we can get from this one, unfortunately. Now, <coughs> with Mr. Jens, or Jebs, the, um, the new... Um, Practically the the uh, the one in charge nowadays of Minecraft after Notch left and sold it to Microsoft. Um, basically, mice, this is well. I'll tell you what. If this is number one or number two for me, this now we do have a couple things. Number one, the boat in the chest. Now we know in regular Minecraft in the original Lexi console edition, which I mostly play, but um, I do play the the new one. Don't get me wrong. I love the servers off camera sometimes, and with other people like Soulteka as well. I play in their worlds because. They sometimes go on this version. Um, I know Sotega. I I convinced him to get the Xbox One edition, but he only plays with that with me usually. But um, nonetheless, to get back to the main topic. Now, I have to say, I love the the minecarts with um the items in it, like um TNT. Um, you can blow it up and have like a little fun trap or maybe a contest, like a game or some sort, like a mini game. You can um use the furnace with coal to make it roll. Actually, it's sort of like a train system. Um, chest. Um, I think crafting table as well. I don't I haven't used that feature too much. Maybe at one point I will. <coughs> I know chest um and furnace crafting table TNT. I think that's the main four. But my this could actually be potentially a new thing. We can have maybe all the versions of the bow. I'm not sure if it's gonna be all of them. Um, like the birch, oak, acacia, spruce, dark oak, all of them. Maybe it could be just uh, the oak boat, because that was the first one. But, mice, this could actually possibly give us a thing. Maybe we can have, like, um, storage with boats on, um, right there. That's going to be really amazing. I, I think that's going to be really handy, especially for those who want to have maybe an ocean series or something like Ocean Den from Stampy Cat. Um, which I did watch. I love his Den episodes, and um, and stuff like that. Maybe you could do like pirate role plays or or something like that, or maybe abandoned ship or or something like that. Something like that. Or stranded. Um, you know, there's a lot of potential for everything in Minecraft all the time. And um, yeah. So maybe you could have like automatic, like how we could put coal in the furnace, um, to make it move. Maybe we can have like an automatic boat in a sense. I feel like that'd be also pretty cool as well. Maybe you can like push the boat while lighting off TNT to send it over to some other area or a base or whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of potential. Next, number two, the frog. <coughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, we didn't really talk about the drops, did we? Now, for real quick, just uh, skip this. Let's go back to the Badlands side real quick. I feel like maybe there's... Um, all I can really think of is really feathers for the um, for uh, for the vulture, really. I can't really think of anything. Maybe they're going to be called something like black feathers, maybe. I Or maybe that's going to be like a different type of arrow. It's it's possible. I think it's just gonna be regular feather stone nonetheless. I don't really I can't really think of maybe hawk meat or I mean the hawk meat vulture meat. I don't know. It depends how that goes. It's gonna be a little weird honestly, but let's go back to the swamp real quick Just a little heads up now right here. We have the frog now Honestly, I can't really think of anything a frog would really drop unless maybe you can use like the they have um What are those called again? It's like the things that turtles drop um, I forgot what they're called, mods. I'm so sorry. It's been uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to because the turtles are one of my favorite mobs since the update Aquatic came out. Like um the little scales that you can make to make the the shell helmet as a uh, as like um kind of like a contrast to other helmets and stuff like that. Maybe you can like maybe we can make um frog kind of boots. Maybe we can like and they increase like our jump by a little bit. Maybe like have a jump boost effect. Who knows? There could be some potential right there. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Anything else might be disgusting or weird or I just really can't honestly think of anything that'd be useful. <coughs> But besides that, we have the final one right here, mangoes. Now, it was a little weird to hear it with Jen's accent. Honestly, he said mangoes. Like, um, I thought he meant the fruit. Maybe that could be a tree. Now, he says right here, mites, mango. A tree that grows in a swamp. So, that would be cool. Maybe we could have a new type of wood. I am always a big fan of building with wood. That's the majority of what my house is built of. As you can see in my Minecraft series, oak wood, um, well, oak planks, and sandstone, and glass. And that's the majority of it. But um, who knows? Maybe we could have a, a different type of tree um, and different type of wood. That would be really nice for some other future builds. And uh, maybe they'll actually be mango trees. Maybe they'll have a new type of fruit. Maybe they'll actually be mangoes um or maybe that's the tree it's actually called i've never heard of a tree called mango besides mango fruit tree 
personally. But um, that's about it, really, um, for the swamp. Now, is this my vote? Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, every time I laugh, I'm, I cough for some reason. It's it's really annoying. Uh, I really know. I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed at this point. But no, while I really wanted to get this one as the update as well for the chest and stuff like that, I, I gotta say no, Mites. I'm sorry, because you're about to see why, because the final one will be the mountains and... Um, I should have let the animation finish. That would have been nice. I'm sorry. But um, here we go, Mike. The mountains. You ready? Here we go. The biome vote is coming up at Minecon Live on September 28th. Let's learn more about the biomes. Oh, mountains. Snow. Watch your step. The snow is snowier than before. A goat. He reminds me of you a little bit. Mountains are getting an upgrade. Jagged cliffs, snow-capped peaks, dramatic views. The goat is getting away. Let's go. Vote for your favorite biome during Minecon Live on September 28th. <coughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, Smite, as you can see, there is quite a bit as well to dive into right here, so let's get right into it. Oh, mountains, snow. Watch your step. The snow is snowier than before. A goat. He reminds me of you a little bit. Mountains are getting an upgrade. Jagged cliffs, snow-capped peaks, dramatic view. Now, Mike, as you can see, um, in most of these little teasers, trailers, I'm, I'm going to call them teasers just because usually teasers are very, very short. But, Mike... Since Badlands and Swamps, unfortunately, are not my vote, my vote might be Mountains. Now, I am 90% sure, sort of. I mean, they're all really, really good updates, Mike. It's like the mob vote all over again. They're all really cool. You might have two or all of them are your favorite, but the, on the end of the day, you can only pick one. And Mountains, I kind of like it. Now, one. Snowy or snow. Now, as we saw from her little sprite right there, she actually sunk in. Now, I know some people maybe... <coughs> have made mods and stuff like that of quicksand and i've seen a couple um well one in particular i forgot what it's called i'm really sorry um but um basically it's it's literally just um it's kind of i'm thinking maybe it's gonna slow us down because as we know mods from certain things in like from the original minecraft and uh well in general i'm pretty sure this is like minecraft period when you put snow you can literally put only a block or like the one meter block or just like the little um the little um snow that you walk around on but in some cases you can actually make a little tiny very very small slowing staircases and the thing is though i wonder if this is either going to be snow entirely to change the mechanic of snow because we know that sometimes when you break um the dirt or whatever blocks underneath snow are they usually will just drop down but besides that it seems that this one might actually make snow sinkable um, like you actually sink into it. Maybe if you crouch, you'll stop sinking or maybe it'll make you sink faster. It's kind of like cobwebs in a sense. So I'm actually kind of excited about that as well. So you may sink in a, it said snowy or snow as well. So um, that's a, that's possibly one feature. Number two, the goat. <laughs> and look at it. I mean, just look at it, Ma. It's so cute and adorable. Now, <coughs> honestly... I can't really think of too much drops for it in terms of it. Maybe you can get the horn, which I think is a little um kind of bad, honestly, um, for certain mobs. I mean, it depends really on the mob, honestly, um, when you think about it. But uh, maybe you can get the horns for something. I can't really think of anything, honestly. Maybe like a funny looking helmet. That could be one thing. Um, maybe you could like charge down like a bull, like put your head character down like, ah, <laughs> that'd be so, <laughs> that'd be so weird. <coughs> But other than that, I can't really... Maybe you can get wool. Maybe you can get um wool from the goat. Maybe that could be, like, the sheep's cousin. Possibly of the family. I'm not really sure how they're related. Um, maybe you could shear them as well. Um, get some fur. Maybe you can make um new armor. It's uh, kind of a couple possibilities. You could also probably get meat. But I'm not sure about goat meat. I'm not sure about that. But um, then again, in certain other religions and blah, 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 you can't really eat meat, like pork or beef or cow or whatnot. I'm not going to get into that, though. Just saying, like, it, it varies on what they really want. Because it's still a family kind of game, in a sense. Like, no blood or gore. I mean, they have maps, creators, and stuff like that, and mods and whatnot. But the main game is not going to feature anything too over-the-top graphic. Um, so, besides that, that's what I think about the goat. I really love it. I cannot wait for that for a little while. It looks so cute in the animation. Then again, 
this might not even be the final product. This could be, like I said, a teaser on what it could be. Because teasers and other trailers, like we all know Marvel and stuff like that as an example, they change stuff during it. Like we all know from the picture of Mob B from um, last Minecon vote of the mobs, that um basically um the, f the Phantom looked a little bit different. It looked kind of like some sort of... Um, like, uh, what are they called again? Stingray? Yeah, the stingrays, what I, like, you know, the flying looking, um, um, creatures on the water, really. What, um, actually, I'm kind of, I kind of do like that animal as well. It's probably one of my favorite, um, sea creatures. And I thought it was going to be something like an underwater, but when I heard a phantom and what its features were, it looks quite a bit different. In the pictures and the drawings at the, when Jens was showing it, like each one of the videos, it looked like an underwater kind of creature and really kind of cutish. But now it looks a little more scarier with like some like, skeleton features in a sense, like it's a phantom, like kind of a ghost um, dread, um, really torn up looking mob, but I have to say, I still love it, honestly, but, um, besides that, so don't keep in mind that some of these features might be a little different than we all expect, this is just my opinions, but finally, the last one, we have, um, jagged cliffs, snow-capped peaks, and dramatic views, now, honestly, um, I am a snow person, I love the snow, I'm a cold, um, not cold person, like, cold-hearted, no, I, I, I'm not, I promise, um, but, um, I do love snow. I love winter. I love fall at the time of year. Um, I love seeing the snow, um, um, drop down from the sky. It's really just beautiful to me, honestly. And I, and I really, really am excited for the mountain update. That's why this one really could be my pick, especially since I'm a, a cold person, even though it's freaking fall and it's still about 80 to 90 degrees. How lovely is that? Although I guess it's still September only. It's still some summer weather, hopefully by November. It'll, it'll um get rid of maybe late October. I really hope. But besides that, mods, that is pretty much it for all of the updates. Um, so before we end the video real quick, I'm just gonna let the, the la this one play out real quick. The goat is getting away. Let's go. Run after the goat. <laughs> Vote for a favorite biome during Minecon Live on September 28th. And there you go, Mars. Now, as you can see, you can follow Minecraft right there on Twitter to vote during the live stream right there. So, I'm going to have to... Well, I already do follow them, but still, um, I've just got to make sure to see if maybe they have any other updates and whatnot. September 28th, 2019, this Saturday, this week. Hopefully, you all are really, really excited. Um, I know I am. I cannot wait. So, then again, Mars, just letting you know, my major vote is probably going to be mountains. But if not... I, do, I can't really say. I kind of do want to see the Badlands get updated in a sense, or the Swamp. Um, it's just, it's just a, so, it's so tough to decide, Mars. But if Mountains, if, if Mountains doesn't get it, then I'll roll the dice and I'll see what I'll pick. But anyways, Mars, hopefully you all really enjoyed the video. I did not expect it to be so long. I am so sorry. Hopefully you, this helped you at least a little bit. Please leave a like and subscribe. I promise I will be uploading once again regularly as much as I can. And yes, Mars, I will see you all later. Later, guys!